Hello and welcome to this video on how to turn on the basement band room here at the International Centre for Music Studies at Newcastle University. In this video, I'll be showing you how to safely turn on and off every aspect of this room, which will stand you in good stead for when you're working in here on projects or band rehearsals. Let's have a look at basic health and safety in this space. The main thing you'll notice about the band room is that it has a stage. Whenever you're on stage, you are working at height and thus at risk. As a result of this, we require you to tidy this space thoroughly after use so that you and those who work in this space after you are at minimal risk. We issue bans to the studio building to those found to be leaving this space in an unsafe state. We ask that you don't leave any trailing wires on stage, that all amplifiers and instruments are moved to the side of the stage, and that all music stands and chairs are removed from the stage at the end of your rehearsal. Music stands should be hung neatly on the hooks next to the door, and chairs should be stacked at the side of the room. There are four eight-way power drops on stage, one in each corner. Do not attempt to move these as they are screwed down and they will break if you attempt to pull them up. This poses a significant risk of electrocution to yourself and those who come after you. There should be enough cable length to allow the movement of equipment around the stage, but we recommend locating electronic devices near these power drops at the side of the stage to reduce the risk of trips. Power extensions are also available at the loan store. You may only bring bottled water into this space, and it should only ever be placed on the floor, never on top of equipment. The PA system in the room may cause hearing loss if used incorrectly. If you need extra assistance, please request the help of a technician. Earplugs are available in the dispenser at the front of the building. As with all audio systems, we must turn the speakers on last and turn them off first in order to ensure that the speakers are not subjected to unnecessary pops from other linked equipment. To turn the room on, first power up the Soundcraft Psy Expression Mixer, which is in the lectern rack at the rear of the room. To do this, find the power button at the top of the mixer. This should glow green. If the button is not green, check the plug on the wall at the rear of the room is turned on and that the power switch on the rear of the mixer is in the on position. Press that green power button at the top of the mixer once. The mixer will load up. Do not turn on the rest of the room until the mixer has fully loaded up. A few moments later. Once loaded up, it is usually a good idea to turn all of the channel faders down to avoid potential issues with any channels which have been left turned on. You can check layers A and B, which contain channels which could be left turned up. To turn on the rest of the room, go to the rack at the rear of the stage. The blue unit on the left is a power sequencer. This will turn on all of the other equipment in the room in the same order as the signal path, preventing equipment damage. Once all the lights on the unit are on, you can check that the speakers are turned on, indicated by the LEDs on the speakers. If someone has turned the speakers off using the switches on the rear, you can turn them on now. There is no need to turn the speakers off using these switches. Please do not change any of the other speaker settings. You can now plug microphones into the patch bay at the rear of the room. Note that phantom power can only be turned on from this patch bay and will not work if applied on the mixer. To turn the basement off, we work in reverse order, so that the speakers turn off first and are not prone to popping when other equipment is also turned off. To do this, turn off the power sequencer. Once all the lights are off, press and hold the green power button on the mixing desk for five seconds. When released, the green button will begin to flash. Press the button again to switch the desk off. Thank you for watching this video on the basics of how to turn on and off the basement band room. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, please email music.technicians at ncl.ac.uk. For more information on how to use the basement band room, 
why not check out some of our other guides, such as how to get sound from a microphone in this space.